Okay, next let's take a whack at number 57 on page 426. That's problem 4.2. Hmm, this one is the integral of the quantity 1 plus natural log of x over the quantity 2 plus x natural log of x dx. So let's see. Now, you might try a couple of different things here. We're trying to figure out what our u should be. This is in the u-substitution chapter, and obviously I don't know what to do with that to begin with. So I might try u as natural log of x, but then I'd need all of this times the derivative, which would be 1 over x. My next try might be the denominator. Okay, well, if my derivative was, if my u was the denominator, What's going to happen here? My du, derivative of 2, is nothing. Derivative of x, natural log of x, is x times 1 over x, using the product rule, plus the derivative of that, which is 1, natural log of x, dx. Oops. Hey, well, that, that looks nice, because that's 1 plus natural log of x, dx. OK, so all is well. I do have my du just sitting there. And so this is going to be the integral of 1 over u du. Well, so what's the integral of 1 over u? That's the natural log of the absolute value of u plus c. Or if I sub back in, natural log of the absolute value of 2 plus x natural log of x plus c. I suppose that you don't really need natural logs, the absolute value sign, since the natural log can't intake values uh, less than zero. I, I take that back. Uh, we'll, we'll leave them in there because this could have a fairly large negative output. But um, in general, it doesn't hurt to have them in there. So there we go.